Yep. Okay. So today I'm going to be talking to you about how dressing for success can mean success for teachers. Um, to start off with, you guys can just kind of shout out who this person is. Doctor. A doctor. And we know that by their white coat and their stethoscope. And this person is baseball a baseball player. player. Again, we know that by like their jerseys and their tight pants, or we can't see their cleats in this picture, but that's kind of how we would recognize them. And this person? Construction. Right. And we would know that again by their hard hats and their yellow. And then a police officer by their uniform. My question for you is how do we recognize There really today out there isn't something that makes us easily recognizable. So the problem is that teachers today do not realize that how they dress has an impact on the students and their success as a teacher. They do not see the importance in dressing professionally. The roles of teachers today are to be leaders of the classroom and have the respect of their students. In order to keep up with the standard, it's important that you be dressing professionally in the classroom. Teachers need to be models to their students. When you're young, we idolize our teachers. I don't know about you guys, when I was little in elementary school, if I had like a really good teacher, I would come home every day and talk to my parents about them, or like write them notes or make them pictures. So it's important that you portray an appropriate image to your students. And then teachers need to be easily recognizable from the students. If you blend in with them and are wearing kind of like street clothes, they're gonna see you more as one of them, and as a result, not react to discipline as much. In one of the articles I wrote, or not wrote, read, um, by Betty Josephman, she's an associate professor at a college in um, Virginia. She had a student teacher, it was a male, who kind of just dressed boyish in like shorts and a t-shirt, and he found that the students really didn't take him seriously. So when she suggested that he wore like a tie, or like just dressed up, that they, he had better results with them taking him seriously. So examples of what you should wear. Again, dress yourself to be set apart from the students. Um, items to avoid could be like Ugg boots or sports jerseys, sweats, flip flops, yoga pants. And there's easy substitutes to these, such as um, leather boots, sports pins that are like with the logo that you, like, of the team that you like, and then sweaters, close toe shoes, and jeggings. But you don't need to be wearing like a fancy dress every day or, yeah. What are jeggings? Kind of what I'm wearing. I don't usually oh. dress like this to class, but I thought it'd be fun to show you an example. Um, yeah, so just like dress pants, um, or like a skirt and a blazer, and then for guys, like a sweater, or just like a collared shirt and a tie. Just overall, just dress professionally, meaning just dress smart and clean. It's not that hard to do. This shows how pretty easily achievable it is. Why does it matter that we dress this way? First of all, it matters to the public. Society today already doesn't have the highest regards of teachers, so we need to be presentable. Um, it also matters to the parents. They want to be reassured that their children are in good hands. They trust you with their kids eight hours a day, five days a week, nine months out of the year. So you could be a spectacular teacher and do like a wonderful job, but if you look like you just, it's not going to have good vibes for the parents. And Although it doesn't seem like it always matters to students, again, they really look up to you when, you're, when they're young and you're a role model for them. So, the solution. Throughout history, the way anyone dresses has always made a statement to who that person is. This fact has no exceptions when it comes to how teachers dress, which is why it is so important that it is enforced that current and incoming teachers dress as professionals. Being an educator is such a large role and doing the best job possible is a requirement. So I suggest to all of you, when you start applying to jobs or when you get in the classroom, that you do dress for success. So hopefully, one day when people think of teachers, there'll be something like they'll think of you as dressing professionally, like the doctors and policemen out there. That's it. <laughs>